Hello everybody, my name is Frost here, Frost this is Snow Pickle, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We're gonna do a challenge. Let's do head trauma. That, that could provide some chaotic fun. This is the gimmick of head trauma. Oh, and to top it all off, we have, like, no damage. Great, that didn't reach. Get down on my knees and pray. The trick with this challenge is basically get sh so many projectiles on screen that you can't not hit. Something that I clearly am not very good at. I saw her today. I saw her face. It was a face I love. And I knew I had to run away. Get down on my knees and pray. Sure, why not? Hmm. Paid for itself, and then some. Take what you can, all you can carry. Take what you can and leave the past behind. I'm gonna take chaos. Because we don't get item rooms on this challenge. Now, chaos makes it so that there are no more item pools and that any item can show up any in any location. Which, uh... It can be very good in certain places, like boss items. Now, when you kill a boss, you could end up getting, like, item room items or devil deal items, which are usually much better than the boss items. Uh, but if, if you... Or angel deal items, like that, see? But if you get a devil or angel deal... It's gonna be junk. Because Devil and Angel Deal items are typically very good, and you're not gonna be getting Devil and Devil Deal and Angel Deal items in your Devil and Angel Deals because Oh goodness me. Because you have all the item pools mixed together, and that's... And there's a much greater number of items in the other pools than in the deal pools. I can finally deal with the Claudies, though, with, with this challenge. I just need to make sure I'm recording. Hold on. Okay, I am. I will usually not take chaos, but since this challenge doesn't have item rooms anyways, it's better to take chaos on this challenge. Tiny Planet has been changed so that the things will change their course so that they can still orbit you properly. So now, 
this challenge is much easier because you can just go back and forth and get these massive uh, things, the projectiles, these massive clusters like this. So you just shoot back and forth and smash the... like that. It's like a trash compactor. This challenge is... It's still not easy, but it, it's much easier than it used to be. Pyro, 99 bombs. No reason not to look for a secret room. There's a secret room. No reason not to blow these up. Dice shard is pretty good if we find a use for it. Secret room? No. Secret room? No. Secret room? Buddy. And we can get into the cursed room for free. Well, not for free, but basically for free, because we've got 99 bombs. God, that was unfair. That was extremely unfair. I call BS. I saw her today. I saw her face, it was a face I loved, and I knew I had to run away. I can just use my bombs as weapons from here on out, and now I have Nancy bombs, which can do some very nice stuff. I can get, like, brimstone bombs from Nancy Bombs, so as long as I don't hurt myself with it, I can just use bombs. Except in rooms like this. good item in a devil deal with chaos sign me up and with the number of shots I'm firing Holy Light is, like, the optimal item for this challenge. BS. But it doesn't matter if I lose my deal chance. Seriously, wh what am I supposed to do with with that? With that room? It's just a bunch of hosts, huh? What am I supposed to do there? <sighs> Hello, D-G-N-T-D-H new, new person in chat that I don't believe I've seen before. That was a very upsetting 
ending to that run. That was like the optimal head trauma run. But what are you going to do? Well, what I'm going to do is end this video here and then play it again.